talked a lot about in the campaign is freedom. So I want to talk a little bit about that. I, I do not think we've ever had an election with candidates who understand freedom so differently. For Donald Trump and his cronies, freedom means that the powerful can do whatever they please. That's his definition of, pre of freedom. I want to fire workers for trying to organize a union. I should be free to do so. They, 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 they want the freedom to throw out votes if, if they lose an election. They, they, want the, they want to control what women can and can't do to their bodies. It, it, in, in, in other words, for Trump, freedom is getting away with stuff. And, and it's like he said in the middle of the pandemic, when he said, I do not take any responsibility at all. I'm not sure any American president has ever uttered those words other than Donald Trump. I do not take any. People were dying. Hospitals overrun. I do not take any responsibility at all. That's his idea of freedom. I do what I want, and I'm not responsible for anything. We have a broader idea of freedom. We believe in the freedom to provide for our families if we're willing to work, the freedom to breathe clean air and drink clean water, the freedom to send our kids to school without worrying if they'll come home safely. We believe that true freedom gives each of us the right to make decisions about our own lives, how we worship, who we marry, what our family looks like. And we also believe that freedom requires us to recognize that other people have the freedom to make different choices. And it doesn't make them bad people. It doesn't make them evil people. It doesn't make them enemies of the state. I mean, I, I, I listen to some of the language that's being thrown around. Look, even on the most contentious issues, I, I've always said there are good people of conscience on both sides of the abortion divide. And I respect anybody whose faith tells them that it's not something that they would do, that they support. But if we believe in freedom, then we should at least agree that such a deeply personal decision should be made by the woman whose body is involved, not by politicians. And, and, and it's, it's, it's been fascinating to watch Donald Trump just try to tie himself into a pretzel on this issue because he sees that what his party has been doing is unpopular and so when he ran for president the first time, he said he would support punishing women who got an abortion. Punishing women. Then a couple weeks ago, he tells women he'll be their, quote, protector. I, I will tell you how he protected you, quote, unquote. He handpicked three of the Supreme Court justices who overturned Roe versus Wade. He bragged about it. And now there are Trump abortion bans in 20 states, many of them with no exceptions for rape and incest. And he's out there saying, well, you know, everyone wanted it this way. Really? <laughs> Donald Trump may be confused, but let's be clear about what's at stake here. If you send Ruben Gallo to the Senate, he'll vote to restore the reproductive freedom that women had for nearly 50 years. 